Hi Aquarius, here is a general look at your solar chart for October 2015. Now I just want to mention the new moon. The new moon this month is going to be in Libra, in a very good angle to your sun sign, and opposing Uranus, which is in Aries, also in a good angle to your sun sign. But it could be interesting uh, for all of the the signs. Um, so uh, for you, you the, the, the Uranus is of course your ruling planet and it's in an extended, very, very long transit uh, going through your communications area, your area of education and day-to-day -day encounters with others which will be refreshing and interesting and and and, and making you maybe, um, oh, well, opening your mind anyway and uh, making you more um, mm, savvy about an area of thought or a way of communicating uh, which you weren't before. Um, so you, just to recap, you're, you're, you're in this long transit with Uranus until 2019. It started in 2011, by the way, um, of discovering new interests and ideas and, and, and quirky sometimes ideas as well and offbeat things and unconventional uh, perspectives uh, from others which you were maybe not that clearly aware of before. Uh, people whose take on life is very different to your own and expect the unexpected and embrace the difference mostly but also explore, um, be, be adventurous uh, about uh, uh, about what what is out there, you know, what the what the concepts are, what the ideologies are, uh, what what field of knowledge or learning, you know, and and how to use uh, media and information uh, technology and uh, in a, in a in a way which is more to your advantage, but also perhaps to be the teacher and the guide and the sharer of the knowledge yourself through. Um, communication, so developing that side of yourself as well. Now, this new moon happening on the 13th, for the four weeks from that new moon, this will be an op opportunity for you to um, adventure a bit, to explore a bit more, to expand your experience and carve new territories. Uh, or carve out new territories, or visit new territories, um, um, uh, and 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 just expand your mind, um, uh, so that you are uh, open to the unfamiliar and uh, mentally and physically. So, if you get an invitation or an opportunity to do something which is different, which is pushing the boundaries, which is out of your your familiar box, then um, this it might come suddenly as well. So. This, this is a good time to um, take that opportunity and to just plunge into something very, very different. Now, other news is new potentials are in the wind up until the 24th because the sun is also in that area of plunging into something different and new and maybe traveling or maybe signing up to learn something um, in a, or maybe just informally. Um, you are um, teaching yourself, you are... Uh, educating yourself with something. Uh, the sun is in a more outgoing, expansive area and you just feel the potential about something maybe drifting in your direction like a sort of an aroma and you just get wind of, of some idea. It might be like that or maybe it's not. Maybe you've been maybe you've been waiting for a while. Maybe you've had this in the back of your mind, uh, whatever it is, uh, to escape the daily grind or to launch into some, some new plan, some new set of ideas and you're picking up little pieces of the puzzle but you haven't actually done it yet so maybe you you'll be in the sort of the the, the getting the pieces of the puzzle together on the planning stage for a while mercury um, is also there and uh, that has you entertaining different ideas and options outside of the box discussions or paperwork could be related to travel education um, another type of unfamiliar environment um, and you'll tend to be thinking bigger. This is the time to do that. This is the time to be more adventurous in your thinking. And uh, there could be a breath of fresh air coming your way, a teacher or an, somebody who's a specialist or an expert in their field. Um, or you could be seen as the teacher or expert in your field, um, putting the word out onto a wider stage. So another way this transit might work is that you take the opportunity to beat the drum on something yourself. Now, having said all that, Mercury is still retrograde until the 9th. So that means that 
this area will be on a bit of a go slow, but that's no bad thing because it might help you to think something through, to refine something, to dot the I's, cross the T's, even though it is annoying that something somebody hasn't got back to you or something hasn't turned up or you um, are, are, are having to reschedule, um, which all of which can happen, or maybe it's just communications equipment which is being annoying, as it often is. Um, so it could, might be something like that, but it does give you the opportunity, as I say, to uh, spend more time on something and maybe add or subtract something that you really hadn't thought of doing before. And uh, anyway, from the ninth, Mercury goes direct again. Now, Venus has been in your opposite sign, Leo, since June the 6th. Venus has been there for a, an extraordinarily long time. Venus usually moves once about every three weeks. Um, so that has been an unusual transit, and it probably won't come again for several years, many, many years. Um, but this has been very, very good for you because it could have improved things um, in where affairs of the heart are concerned. Um, you and someone could have been getting closer. Um, you, you could have been making a friend uh, during this time. You could have been bonding. You could have been tying the knot even. Um, it's definitely about reciprocity. It's definitely about, you know, two heads better than one. It's definitely about sharing, sharing, sharing. So uh, with Venus there, and also Jupiter was there for a very long time too, it's likely that you were, you, you were in that zone of being able to share more. You know, getting things off your chest in a relaxed way with somebody, hopefully, as well. Or maybe it wasn't in your personal life, maybe it was in your professional life. Um, but that also is no bad thing either, or maybe it was a bit of both. But then from the ninth, Venus uh, moves, finally, and then goes into a place of even deeper emotional connecting with somebody, possibly. Uh, even even deeper involvement with somebody, possibly. Um, and you can um, feel touched, you can feel more emotional about it all. Even you, very, um, uh, you, you very quite um, thinking, logical, intellectual Aquarians can really be touched uh, with Venus in that area there because it won't only be Venus actually, it'll be Mars and Jupiter. So there is quite a lot of emphasis on that area of deeper feelings. Um, it is actually probably the deepest area in the chart. Uh, so you be aware of that and be aware how you can feelings can be swayed. Uh, but also you can be the one that sways feelings. Uh, and so it's, it's a little bit like there's, there's, there's just, a, um, you know, it, it, there's, there's, there's just, a, uh, maybe you go through life being only aware of like, you know, being on the ground floor or, or on the first floor in existence, or maybe on several floors above the first floor. But this is really, really the, the basement, the ground under your feet, the, 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 the gut. Uh, feeling here um, and also even further than that this has you being more aware of subtleties going on within a relationship maybe or within a, a setup or an agreement or a contract and and maybe um, figuring out well you know how much does this person or this contract or this setup mean to me uh, this property um, this job this place uh, and um, so there's an awful lot of sussing and intuiting and and sort of mulling things over as well, I think, uh, about feelings, about commitment, about um, uh, yeah, uh, what you share with another, uh, whether you've volunteered to share it or whether it is you benefiting through somebody else's good fortune, which it very much can be. Um, if you know them, then that's better, but if it's a, some outside agency that you have got a contract with, well, even here, you might get, you know, a, a, a more civilized. <laughs> no, I don't have a chip on my shoulder. Um, a more civilized interaction with somebody like an outside agency, uh, which has to do with, you know, maybe it's a contract phone, or maybe it's it's borrowings, you know, or it could even be a debt that comes back, or, or some kind of legacy or inheritance that comes your way, that that sort of come of age in in some way. Mars is there as well. Um, <clears throat> so uh, that that means you might be, be getting busy with sharing your space. You know, you might be 
sorting things out. You might be decluttering in order to clear the decks um, for a new beginning. Um, you physically doing that, or, or it might be more emotionally, you know, just kind of moving on from something. Um, it might be like that. So, so it's either sort of deeper involvement or commitment, or indeed it's 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 sort of coming up from air, for air from 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 that deeper uh, involvement or commitment. Whether that is a in in your very very private personal life and 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 or whether it is something which is you know um, uh, more formal uh, more more to do with business. So whether it's a rethink, uh, detox, or a spring, spring clean, this Mars position means coming up against some sort of pre-existing condition, behavior, um, setup, agreement, contract, um, and uh, then there will be this inner shift. But some, some things will have to be let go of in order for this inner shift and then the new stretch of road to be embarked upon. Uh, also, you might be feeling quite secretive. <laughs> you might be feeling that you don't want to put your cards on the table with certain people. Um, it might be a little bit like that. And another thing is you might, this is a very good time to listen to the omens, to really pay attention to the universal mind, the universal heart as well, because it's giving us little signals all the time. Now, you could argue about whether it's giving it to us or whether it's just our our connecting with our higher consciousness and then we're able to see them, these synchronicities and these coincidences which are happening all the time anyway. But most of the time we're down in, you know, on the ground floor in our little survival mind and we're not paying any attention. So I don't know. But anyway, that is more likely now that you would, that you would be um, really tuning in to that. Can be useful. Um, now, the sun moves on the 24th, the solar energy th um, then uh, goes into the, up to the top of your chart, meaning that you'll be um, having to be more aware maybe of bureaucracy or um, you, your you, officials, um, um, you know, uh, um, people, people in positions of authority anyway. You might have to be more aware of that. And um, also perhaps feeling a bit more scrutinized, feeling like, OK, you know, I've got to keep the image in, in the way I want it to be. I've got to make the impression that I want. Um, and um, that's going to be in there for about four weeks. Uh, being more, more aware of rules, rules. <clears throat> um, never your strong suit. <laughs> Bureaucracy and rules. <laughs> but um, on the other hand, you know, if you want to bring in this social change or this this enlightenment or this knowledge, then you just got to know how to play the game. Now, Saturn is now in a more helpful angle to your sun sign, being in Sagittarius for the next two and a bit years. And this means that you can be more successful if you put a steady flow of energy into your group connections. You're build, building up, building, cult, cultivating people cultivating the right people in the right places sounds a bit mercenary but basically um networking um also your club your association your society your your group um friendships and 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 really beginning to feel as though during this transit perhaps towards the end of the transit that you got your feet firmly on on uh, you know um over the threshold or or under the table with uh, certain groups or, or certain people um, in the hierarchy it is, or maybe just with, you know, making new friends and finding your place in the pecking order. Um, establishing yourself. Um, the thing about Saturn is one of her little tricks is to make us feel a huge lack wherever she goes. So you might actually feel as though you're not connecting to the right group. Um, you haven't got the right useful contacts. And so therefore, there's the challenge. There goes the gauntlet. You know, this this is what Saturn wants the, for you to realize that, OK, you've got to try harder. Um, you've got to reach higher, maybe um, look out further, um, think, t adopt a different attitude to things. And uh, you Aquarians born the 21st to the 25th of January or with zero to five degrees rising or you Aquarians born um, at the other end, 18 to 19 degree, uh, sorry, 
18th to the 19th of February or the 29 degrees rising, you are going to feel the older energy from when Saturn was in Scorpio the most. And that is just a little bit more challenging than um, what I've just described to you here. Um, but it is, it is about you taking more responsibility and getting your act together and, and not giving up being persevering. Okay, <clears throat> but having said that, knowing when to sort of put your cards down, stand up from the table and walk away. Um, right, so Jupiter is in this new cycle uh, in uh, this deeper area where Mars and Venus are, but Jupiter will be there until next September. And so that means that um, this beneficial, generally beneficial with Jupiter emphasis will be put on your joint financial area, your shared property, your shared possessions, your shared monies, your, through somebody else's good fortune, through somebody else's resources, you benefit. Um, and often it's mutual, you know, they benefit through whatever it is that you can contribute to them as well, whether it's money or some other kind of resource. So, so it's kind of a... You know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a reciprocal kind of arrangement. Um, and materially, your life could grow uh, and expand because this is, you know, a transit that can mean that some use a bit of a safety net there, just a bit of a safety net there, um, if you play your cards right. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> excuse me, and it may be. Um, a different financial strategy uh, that provides the safety net or is one manifestation of, 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 of the Jupiter energy there. But it can be that there's more sharing going on um, with another, so the load is spread. Um, and also it can be, as I said earlier, debts repaid, uh, whether that's from you or to you, uh, but also it can also be a moral debt that's repaid, which will be um, satisfying maybe. You Aquarians born the 31st of January to the 6th of February and also a relief if it happens to be you that's got to say sorry or put something right. So anyway, 31st of January to the 6th of February or with 11 to 70 degrees rising will feel that energy the most. Ballpark, you know, a little bit more uh, on either side, uh, maybe depending on which year you were born. And um, that is it for October. I need to apologize for any of you who've been trying to contact me we found we've discovered a broken link on our website, uh, on my website, and um, this is August, by the way, that I'm doing this. So uh, if you had written to me in July and August, of course, being the holidays, people were away, so it wasn't picked up. And uh, as soon, just as soon as it can be fixed, it, it will be fixed. Um, so I do apologise for that because that's um, uh, I don't like to feel as though people are just sitting there getting fuming about not being answered um, and um, if you know your moon sign or your rising sign you can um, listen to the forecast for those and also the basics of this uh, uh, material that I've just given you is on my website dianagarland.com and I'll see you the next time.